And we begin here at 5 o'clock with an update on that deadly crash last month involving two Bakersfield police officers. A witness at the scene of that fatal car crash on South Vineland and Muller Roads spoke to 17 News today providing new details about what took place. After weeks since the crash with police and highway patrol remaining tight-lipped, 17's Michaela Armstrong has more details tonight about that man's side of the story. Michaela? It's been four weeks since the fatal car crash involving Bakersfield police officers and another vehicle. BPD and CHP still won't answer questions, but 17 News spoke to the man who discovered the accident and called 911 that morning and who has more details about what he saw that morning. It was pitch black, so I came to a stop sign, and from the corner of my eye, I thought it was just a cop, like, sitting in the dark. And then when I made my, the left turn, I realized that the cop car was smoking and it was crushed. Antonio Valencia was on his lunch break around 2 in the morning when he encountered the deadly crash between two Bakersfield police officers and another vehicle on South Vineland and Muller Roads. So I pulled over, and as soon as I pulled over, um... The driver came out the window and I was asking for help. When he saw the vehicles, he first noticed the police car. The front end was crashed in and the driver's side, like if they got too boned. Then he noticed the Honda Accord, but didn't see the people inside. It was turned upside down. That's all I seen. So Valencia called 911, alerting emergency response of the crash. When officers arrived, Valencia says they went straight to the police. The first people I seen them take were the cops, but I know that they were trying to work and get the other people out of the car because it was upside down. Lawyer Daniel Rodriguez, representing the family of Mario Lares, who died in the crash, says that was a poor decision on behalf of the police. They're supposed to protect and serve, especially when one of their own seems to have violated the law. And they should have gone to try to help the victims. And in this case, the police officers were not the victims. A big question in this crash has been if the cops involved had their lights and sirens on leading up to the impact. Valencia confirmed to 17 News the officers did not. No, nothing was on. If I never took the double look, I would have just drove right past thinking it was the cop sitting at the stoplight, like waiting for someone to run in. The passenger in the car with Lares, Anna Hernandez, was left with life-altering injuries. And BPD officers Ricardo Robles and Travion Cobbins suffered injuries. As for Valencia, he is grateful he was there that morning, or he says the outcome could have been different for all. I feel like if I just drove past it, they probably could have all died. Again, we reached out to both the Bakersfield Police Department and California Highway Patrol continuously for a month seeking answers and received no response. Michaela Armstrong, 17 News.